Hey guys, my Metal Patriot One here again. Guys, on today's show, I'm going to try to do an uh, installment of a Jeep product. I had this donated to me. This is the Tuffy Security uh, Hood Latch. It's the locking hood latch. So it comes with keys, it comes with the latch, it comes with instructions and uh, screws and bolts necessary to uh, install this onto your Jeep Wrangler. Uh, we all know that Jeep Wranglers are readily accessible. Uh, you pop the two latches on the hood here and you have total access to up under the hood, the engine compartment. And uh, there's nothing to stop anybody from stealing a battery, uh, finagling with your electronics or anything like that. So I'm gonna do a quick review of this uh, installment and you guys hold tight, stay tuned. We're gonna get this show on the road. guys inside the box once you open it up you have your instructions right here pretty simple you have your your bolts that you're going to use and just be mindful that these silver ones here are going to be your thread cutters so you're going to have to do some thread cutting but you're not going to have to drill any holes so you will have to thread some of the holes that's in there i advise you to get a can of uh, touch-up paint or some kind of touch-up paint so once you cut these threads, you can kind of touch those up before you screw the other ones in. And maybe some uh, Loctite. I got some blue Loctite. I'm going to put on these to make sure they don't back out. Uh, you have the lock itself. And you have two sets of keys. So uh, we're going to go out and we're going to do this uh, quick install. So you guys hold tight. All right, guys. Some of the, before we go out, some of the tools that we're going to need is going to need a screwdriver. And that's to pull some of the body bolts loose because we're going to have to remove the grill. An extension. A socket with a half inch socket and some Loctite. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started. We'll take the latches loose. Go ahead and open this hood up. And what we're gonna do is, I don't know if you can see or not, is these little, these little plastic latches right here, we need to get those pulled up so we can pull those out. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six on the other side over here. So we got six of these we need to remove. So uh, let me go ahead and get the screwdriver out. You'll see that I'll take the screwdriver and stick it under the plastic piece and just kind of wiggle it around a little bit, just get it loose. And that kind of comes on up. And I'll do the same thing here. And I'll keep going all the way down. And then I'll grab the big base of it and just kind of pull up on it. And that just loosens it up. And I'll put all these somewhere where I won't lose them. And once you get all of these out, you see the top of the grill is loose. Down here on the bottom, you have some clips. I think there's four of them. So just be careful not to tear those clips up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pry just a little bit down here on the bottom. That side's loose. And that side's loose. So there's actually four clips, and then you got to center a little notch right here to line them up. So I'm going to go ahead and take the headlights loose, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to pull on the tab here. There's a red tab. Just going to pinch it. Wiggle it loose. I'll tell you what, I just pop the bulb out. Just take the bulbs out and let them swing, and there's your grill. So I just removed the whole grill. Of the Jeep, and we'll set that to the side. I'm going to use these holes that are already in the Jeep. So you have this wiring harness. You can have an option. You can pull these har this harness loose to give you some more room to work with, or you can leave it in place. I've seen it done both ways. But these are the ones we have to thread here. 
So I got to get my thread cutter out. And that's going to be silver bolts. And my half inch socket with the extension. Okay, we got our socket wrench out with our half inch socket. And I'm going to go ahead and take the silver thread cutter one that comes in the packet. And we'll go ahead and start trying to thread this hole here at the top. So I want to try to get it straight as possible and get this thread cutter getting the cutting. got that cut all the way down so we're gonna back it out and we'll go to the next hole and I do like to go all the way down with them and then back them back out that way I make sure you got a thorough good thread all the way through okay. two more and like I said you can take this mouth loose just pry it loose with a screwdriver on the back and then pop it back in there that way it give you some some room if you need it and that one goes Like I said, I like to go all the way in to make sure it seats, to see how it's going to seat, make sure it seats flat. That one was simple, that was an easy one right there. Alright, so we got all four holes done. And now we're going to touch them up with a little bit of spray paint. Just some cheap old spray paint. Get it at Walmart, 96 cent a can, I believe it is. And just kind of touch this up a little bit. Now I just hit the the hole, the holes I just threaded or cut threads in. I just touched them up with a little bit of Rust-Oleum. This is the Camouflage Series paint, but you can get any of that cheap paint from Walmart. And it's just a black, flat black. I just want to touch the holes up in it just to make sure that uh, I try to do as much rust preventative as I can, take any measures as I can. So it's not pretty, it runs, but hey, it dries quick, paint dries real quick, and then we'll put this and bolt this up onto the and that'll go in behind the wiring system and we'll line the holes up put the bolts in and we'll be done all right guys i got it tucked in there i had to weave it around the wire so it may help if you put one side of this uh this wiring harness off just kind of pop it off that way you can get the the locking mechanism or the lock itself back in here in an easy way but i was able to manigle it around this wire to get it get it set in place so i'm gonna go ahead and start installing the bolts all right guys, I'm gonna put the silver ones through the top and these little brass ones that come with the kit, uh, I'm gonna put those on the sides. So before I get started threading these in there, I wanna put some Loctite on them because I don't want these to back out. Start giving me issues. So I'm just gonna drop a little dab of Loctite on the threads. And it's just the blue Loctite. Get it to your auto store. A little bit of tight the bottom one. The lock's installed, everything seems to work. We're gonna go ahead and install the grill back in. So, remember, I want to line the bottom up. And if you look here, I want to line this pilot hole up with this the pilot hole in the frame with this right here. So, we're gonna line this up first and then we'll push it in. You'll hear it pop in place, that's four of them, and then we'll set it back. And we'll line the holes up and we'll put our pins back in. All right, guys, the install is complete. Uh, got it locked down. 
so it works out pretty good so if you shut it shut your hood down sometimes the guys on some of the videos said you had to push down on the hood to get it locked this one right here i didn't have to push down drop the hood in place turn the key and now nobody can get in there to finagle with your hood put my hood latches back on place I mean, you're still going to need your hood latches. Don't get me wrong. This is not going to replace your hood latches. You still need those to keep your hood from vibrating. So, and she's locked. There's no getting into that. So that's, that's good. I will strongly advise you to keep these spare keys. Keep one on your key ring, one inside the vehicle somewhere. So you can't get to it or hid somewhere so you know where your keys is at so i do have another tuffy product that has similar keys and i'm thinking about calling tuffy to find out what it would cost to have the keys uh all my keys keyed into one lock so i have only one key guys this concludes my review on the tuffy uh security products tuffy hood lock so outstanding product uh keep things safe inside that jeep I uh, didn't purchase this. I uh, want to holler at Bob DeRosier. He's a fellow Jeeper and also a retired Marine. He donated this. And uh, I appreciate you, Bob. Thank you. Thank you for what you did. Thank you for what you do. Uh, outstanding product. Easy to install. Simple tools. Uh, also, the good thing about Tuffy products is you can have them all keyed to the same lock. So you only have one key that will open all your Tuffy products that you have installed in your vehicle. So great product runs about 49.99 i think it is you can probably find it cheaper on other sites you may find them a little more expensive than other sites but there are several different models of this uh from different manufacturers some of them are keyed to your ignition so that's a pretty cool uh feature on that one too uh but this one is the toughie and it has a separate key so but still it does the same job it protects it's sturdy built um you're not going to have any problems with it. Just remember, a lock keeps only an honest man honest. So uh, take it for what it is. Guys, if you like the channel, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, share us. And uh, guys, remember, you all your bros keepers. Pound me to Patriot One. You guys have a great day.